What's going on? This is Kareem from DJBooth.net and I'm here in the lab to give you guys a really quick speaker rundown video review. I don't usually do these things often because you can see how cumbersome they are to fit here in the lab. You gotta open up all these boxes and then you can't really play speakers back on YouTube because the review won't really sound that great compared to when you're really listening to them. But I digress and here I am with the new PV, PVXP12 two-way power speaker. It's DSP edition, meaning it has a digital display on the back so that way you can change and tune the sound to your liking. And I also have the PVXP sub, 15 inch subwoofer here as well. They make a great stack of a pair together. This is the PVXP lineup, meaning it's not the top of the range of the PV line, it's not the bottom of the range of the PV lineups, but the PVXP is right in the middle and it comes in a middle type price point and also a middle style performance bracket as well. So we're gonna take a deep dive into both of these bad boys and just see how good they are and if they can help you out in your DJ or studio use expeditions. All right, so first up, we're gonna take a quick look at the PVXP12 DSP edition. These come in the 10 inch configuration. They also come in this 12 inch configuration as you see here, and a 15 inch woofer configuration as well. As you can see, the woofer is on the bottom. On the top, you have your mids and highs with the dome. And at the bottom, you see you have base ports front facing, so that way you can put this next to a wall without having any issues with your base ports. There's handles on both sides and also on the top as well. And it has a trapezoidal design, so that way you can lay it nice and flat on a stage for your stage performances. And there's also many different hanging points at the top that you can use in order to hang this bad boy from the rafters on the side or on the top as well. You can also have the pole mounted to the bottom of the unit as there's an opening there for the pole. And it also has nice rubber feet on the bottom as well. The inputs and outputs along with the digital signal processing screen, the DSP screen. And there you'll be able to go in and cycle through things like your different music presets, your EQ presets. It's really cool to have this level of detail in there so you can control how your speaker output will be. You have your level volume control knob. You also have your combo input jack here, which is either TRS or your XLR. And then you also have your RCA pair input as well. You also have your through and outputs as either XLR or quarter inch TRS. And then you have your knob here so that way you can go through the different presets and select the different EQs that you guys want, treble and bass. Also all the way to the bottom, you have your fuse, your normal power connection, your fan vent ports, and your on and off switch. The power output of the speaker is about 800 watts peak, but I believe it to be somewhere around 300 to 350 RMS. I couldn't find the actual information anywhere, but that's what I believe it to be after my experience with using speakers before. So not the best, right in that middle band of speaker amperage, but it does the job well. During our use of this whole setup with the subwoofer and with the actual speaker, we had pretty good performance. We didn't have any hiccups. We didn't have any dropouts. We played this at high volumes of 70% or higher for more than four hours straight with no issues whatsoever. Next up, we're looking at the PVXP subwoofer. This comes in a 15 inch woofer configuration with a really huge base port for the air at the bottom on the front. So that way you can put this against the wall and not worry about your air not being able to exit from the unit. And it does push a lot of air. It's not very, very booming bass or very, very deep bass, which is one of my minor gripes with the actual subwoofer. I wish the bass would have been more rattling, more jarring, and just more heavy all around, but that's not the case here, probably due to the price point and the wattage, which is only 800 watts peak, which translates to about 325, 350 watts total for your RMS output. It does have very good solid wood construction. It also has a nice port on the top, so that way you can screw in the supplied pole very easily so you can add your 12 inch speakers to the top 
very very solid pole that comes with it it's all metal and it just feels really really sturdy and after we had the stack all put together it really really felt like it was going to last and like it was meant to be there and that this would not fall over during a gig or performance also has the metal handles on both sides and around the back they have attached feet as well these are completely locking feet so you can use the lock mechanism on the bottom to unlock them turn them to where you want them and it makes it freely rotate and then you can press the actual knob here in order to lock them back in place really cool design and nice to see that they included all four feet in order to move this around it's not really big it has a nice compact design overall for a subwoofer for a 15 inch woofer and it gets the job done and it's very easy to transport around with the wheels in place moving to the rear of the speaker you get all of your inputs and outputs and it's very very simple to set up this subwoofer it's not much that you have to change all you have here is your level knob you also have a knob for your crossover so you can eliminate the highs and the lows and make it bounce where you want it to and then you have a Cosmo C Bates enhanced knob and this gives you a little bit more enhancement lets you get a little bit more vibrancy to your bass you have a combo input jack which is XLR and TRS then you have your high pass outputs to get back to your other speakers and these are XLR and then you have your through full range output as well which is also XLR you have a nice big fan on the back again 800 watts max power output from the amp and all the way on the bottom you have your fuse you also have your switch and then you have your power connector as well so in conclusion the new PV PVXP lineup is a great choice for those intermediate level DJs those intermediate or small to medium size builds that you guys got going on around there different gigs that are about small to medium size 100 to 150 people max you're gonna probably need two stacks of these meaning you're gonna need two 15 inch PVXP subwoofers and probably two 12s as well to go along with it the two-way enclosure the PVXP 12 or the 12 DSP as we just demoed for you guys and then they'll sound pretty good you won't get that super super deep vibrating bass that you might be used to on your higher range speakers or on your 18 inch subwoofer enclosures and you're not getting crazy crazy loud performance from the 12 inch here and that's why these are specified for smaller venues or to medium sized venues of smaller type of gatherings they do bump and they do have a pretty good cost efficiency you get them for about a thousand dollars per stack you'll need two stacks so that means it'll be about two thousand dollars of an investment and it will definitely rock the parties for you it'll definitely be reliable you have really good solid build quality all around you have many different ways that you can mount these and use these you have your mounts for your hooks so that way you can hang these you can also put these on the stage sideways because they have that trapezoidal design so you can lay them on the side for your stage you can also put them on top of poles and of course the woofer is all wood enclosure nice metal handles nice metal cages on the fronts of both of these speakers lots of inputs and outputs and it also comes with that heavy duty pole that you can screw right into the top so that way you can have your steady stack wherever you put the two to two on each side so really good setup good for those djs out there that have small to medium sized performance venues and they definitely will foot the bill for there they're not the best and they're not the worst they're right there at the middle and they do perform well and they won't leave you stranded in the cold during your gig because they performed very very well so for more on the written review you guys can head on over to www.djboot.net slash djs make sure you click on the thumbs up if you like this video make sure you subscribe so that way you guys keep coming back for more and more videos and as always thanks for watching